Matthias Johnson, Managing Director of our founding strategic partners, the German Convention Bureau. I'm also delighted to welcome the ministers, politicians, government officials, and industry leaders who have joined us here this morning before attending the IMEX Politicians Forum later today. The Politicians Forum, which we organise in collaboration with ECM and our NPC, and under the auspices of the Joint Meetings Industry Council, each year brings together national and regional politicians and policymakers to exchange ideas with our global industry leaders. By doing so, the forum continues to increase understanding of how we coordinate in wide-ranging interdepartmental strategies. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and um, thank you very much, Ray, that uh, Mr. Frankfurt has the opportunity to be part of this opening ceremony. And uh, we always feel very honored. Mr. Frankfurt and its guest organizers are an important success factor for Frankfurt as a trade fair center. It's the ideal location for sustainable business and international networking. We maintain long standing relationships with Frankfurt. There exists a firm foundation thanks to the development of a thrustful partnership with the very successful family team of Ray and Karina. Ladies and gentlemen, IMAX is an outstanding event and one of the highest profile guest events, the flagship event of the global mice industry and sector is firmly anchored in Frankfurt. It's a, strong, it's a strong partnership in many different ways. We help to run satellite events successfully, such as the AIPC Sales and Marketing Summit, and in 2016, the PCMA Business School, and every second year, the IMAX Association Day. IMAX is taking place on our premises in the 15th time in Rome. 3,500 international and national exhibitors from 150 countries and all signs are pointing to continued growth. IMAX stands for networking, for training, further education, and new business opportunities on the highest level. We are pleased that Mr. Frankfurt itself is a part of IMAX and is involved in this program as an exhibitor. And at the new Frankfurt Royal Mines Camp on the German Pavilion, just it was the last year and the year before. The Mr. Frankfurt Convention Center is made for all kinds of big events, not only for the big trade shows we are famous for. Facilities such as the old Festhalle, the Congress Center, and the new Cup Europa Convention Center, three excellent Congress and event buildings that are held in very high esteem by our customers, and, and that are instrumental in maintaining the attractiveness of the Rhine-Main region as a center for events, conferences, and conventions. Thank you, Ray. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good morning. Welcome to Frankfurt. Welcome to Germany on behalf of the GSB, the German Convention Bureau. Meetings and conventions and events are the perfect platforms for exchanging experience face to face. They promote innovation and the transfer of knowledge as well as international understanding. And I think this is more important than ever in our times. Alongside this intellectual capital, meetings and conferences also deliver tremendous economic value. And I think this is what we all of us know and this is 
why we are here, especially the politicians, the politicians are here, because you know that meetings um, have a tremendous value for your destinations. IMAX in Frankfurt and IMAX in America really helped to develop the industry by creating platforms for professionals to progress business, discuss the latest trends, and develop partnerships. Partnerships and relations are crucial to our sector. A great example of this is the strategic alliance of the National Convention Bureau of Europe. At the beginning of this year, to be precise, Germans are also to be precise, it was in January, I think, I was in Munich, also a very nice city in, in, in Germany. And uh, we had a meeting of the Strategic Alliance. And there, all together, we signed a memorandum of understanding to cement and underline our cooperation. 24 countries across Europe are now part of this partnership, which unites the individual and unique offerings of each member to simplify and strengthen the approach towards key markets. And I think it, is, it becomes much more important in our times to work together, not only in Europe, but in Europe. And where was this alliance launched? Well, of course, at IMEX. IMEX America in 2014. And since then, the alliance has grown. It's a proof, indeed, that our industry recognizes the value of coming together from wherever you may be based in the world. What you will see during the next three days from today on at the show reflects this. Thousands of people from many different countries coming together to network and to do business. And we are very happy that that takes place and happens in Germany. And this applies not only for IMEX, the meetings industry is a real global player. In Germany alone, the number of international participants at the events has almost doubled within the last 10 years. And that's, that clearly shows the dynamic of our industry. And that all thanks to Ray, thanks to Karina, I saw you already in the morning. Um, I'd like to extend my thanks and on behalf of all partners, German partners, my thanks to you and your team, Ray. You did a really great job. Now, since 2003, I remember my very first time, uh, I mean, it was in 2003, I was an exhibitor with Hilton International here um, at uh, IMAX. It's now 14 years. And Ray still looks the same, and I have a beard, and my wife, <laughs> and my wife uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, discovered silver shiny hairs in my beard. So, that's the situation, but I call it demographic change, another challenge we have to face, all of us. And once again, welcome to Germany. Great, thank you, David. It's great to have you here, and it's always a pleasure to work together with uh, Messe Frankfurt. Thank you to Long Tour your team, and uh, enjoy the next three days here, whenever we can help, and we can be of support for you, just let me know. I'll be at your disposal. Have a nice day. Guten Tag and good morning, and I do have to apologize that I went to bed early last night. I did not spend a lot of money, uh, but I hope to make up for it over the next several nights. So it's so nice to be with you, and uh, I'm looking out in the audience, and I have a lot of friends that uh, did tell me they would not throw anything at me as I tried to follow my script. I wrote it. How are you? It is my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to be with you today, and Ray and Karina. Uh, Long-time friends uh, from way back in our Geneva days, we, we certainly thank you for this, this amazing honor. And I'm speaking on behalf of several organizations. Uh, the Convention Industry Council is made up of 33 different organizations with international members that I think, Karen, uh, make up about 50 or 60 countries or more. So on behalf of the global meetings, mice industry, we all love that uh, terminology, uh, I'm here to, uh, to share some words with you today. And because we've had such a long, great history with IMEX and CIC, the exhibitions industry is indeed very, very positive in its impacts around the world. We try to estimate on an annual basis the 
economic billion, uh, billions and billions of U.S. dollars economic impact. So someday we'll be able to pull that together because from a government standpoint, the ladies and gentlemen who are in this room as politicians, and the ladies and gentlemen that serve our communities back in our homes, need to understand the, the overall economic impact of job creation. There's no doubt that the trade, the business res uh, resulting from our mutual gathering here at Frankfurt, Frankfurt will dwarf what we collectively spend in order to be here. Our industry is so much more than a feeder of travel and hospitality supply chain or the postman of business tourism. Be under no illusion, I come not to distance our relationship with our partners, the hotels, the DMOs, the CDBs, but to look at it differently with support for our quest, the collective quest for relevance, investment, and funding from the government, our partners, and making everything happen in our communities back home. We do not exist only, we do not exist only to serve the supply chain. We exist to serve the owners, hotels and restaurants and facilities, messes all over, all over the world, really, not just in Germany. And uh, we cannot delegate that responsibility. We have to rally the troops as we're doing today to make sure that on a daily basis, we're communicating the positive effect of the mice industry around the world. We certainly um, are involved in professional development and stimulating creativity and bringing together ladies and gentlemen from all around the world into our communities, into our meeting rooms, into our exhibition centers to conduct business. But just as importantly in other countries, and I'll just mention a few that I've been to, uh, over the last several years, uh, India, China, all of Asia, um, Latin America, where we have an opportunity to go in through our infrastructure of the meetings and exhibitions industry and create economies and create educational opportunities as we go forward. When scientists, medics, technologists meet, let me tell you what they do, they change the world. And we know best that business exists not only for the reason, those reasons, but to impact, as I've mentioned, our local economies. We are not self-serving, although as a former convention, I'll say where's Don Wells, as a recovering convention and visitors bureau executive, DMO, still shaking a little bit. It's not all about tax generation. It's all about creating opportunities in our communities. But certainly that uh, the DMOs that are in this room you'll see on the floor exhibiting and trying to talk to customers from around the world, certainly they have metrics that they have to achieve and manage to be effective and successful in the eyes of the politicians in their city. Business events exist to serve a higher purpose. They not only deliver the desired outputs of the owners, as I mentioned, but it is the output, outputs of professional development, knowledge exchange, research, and commerce that is important. Let me give you an example from our friends in Canada. The Global Petroleum Show that's held annually in uh, Calgary, Alberta, brings together 50,000 business ladies and gentlemen from around the world. They deposit over $60 million of direct spend while they're there for the week. And without that, the cities of Calgary and the communities around, even as far as Edmonton, would not have the positive impact that that particular one week event that takes place, conducting business on behalf of the petrol business around the world. Then in 2014, I've been told that $8.6 billion of business was transacted on that trade show floor. 8.6 billion US. Of which 4.8 billion was invested in infrastructure and uh, business positive impact just in the uh, Alberta greater Alberta economy. Additional infrastructure is taking place around the world. Some examples, Sydney, New South Wales, Melbourne, Victoria, East Africa, China, and India, and all of Asia, as I mentioned, and certainly Latin America. Here in the West, uh, in Europe, we have uh, certainly a great uh, history of success. Um, I have the pleasure of uh, meeting and, and uh, working with many of the German messes around the world that uh, certainly uh, 
uh, positively impact uh, based upon the business structure and success they've had here in Germany. So our message is being heard. As Ray said, we had great success last week. For the first time ever, after about 20 years of its initial launch in Canada and the United States, we held the Global Beatings Industry Day. Over 30 countries participated in this first annual event. I was told last night from NAN, from Beatings Being Business Coalition, that over 110 individual events took place, whether it's proclamations with mayors and cities, joint chapter events, what a great success. So please give ourselves great applause for making a difference. Advocacy is, is positive and has great momentum. With that in mind, I'm pleased to let you know that uh, if I can ask Kai Hattendorf from uh, UPI to stand up. Kai is our new uh, Managing Director of UPI. Please welcome him. To, uh, He's not, he's not a stranger to Messi Frankfurt, right, gentlemen? He, uh, he was uh, very involved here in this, in this great institution, Messi Frankfurt, for years. And I'm pleased to tell you that uh, uh, after uh, many, many months of conversation, Kai came in with his eyes wide open and fully embraced what will happen on June 8th, and that's the Global Exhibitions Day. People are asking me, why do we do two different events? We do Global Meetings Industry Day, we did that April 14th. We're going to do Global Exhibitions Day. I think right now we're at 32 countries involved, and we'll have 35 countries. That's even even I understand that English. That's good. <laughs> 35 countries. It's not that we're competitive with GMIB. And when asked that question, Kyan always answered: Every politician, every government official around the world needs to hear that drum beating about how important our industry is. So if we have GMAID in the spring, we do Global Exhibitions Day in June, what are we gonna do in the fall? What are we gonna do in the fall to communicate, continue to beat that drum of the success of our industry and the positive impact that we have, whether it's in Latin America, as I look out from our friend from Kokal, or, or Asia, or across Europe. We create jobs, we create momentum, we create excitement. It's a very, very exciting town, time in our industry. Boy, I'm ahead of myself, that's pretty good. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about something that's very, very important to all of us. I would assume that the majority of the ladies and gentlemen in this room have gone through university studies, maybe found their way into the mice industry, if you're a politician, ladies and gentlemen, who works in our government affairs world, who takes good care of our destinations and our, and our citizens, wherever you live, we've all gotten to our careers in different ways. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that as Convention Industry Council members, our friends at Jimmick, and all of our associations, all of our alphabet soup, so to speak, of organizations around the world, we're focused on the ladies and gentlemen that are in colleges and universities, we're focused on helping them develop mice education programs so that the, uh, the folks that have a little bit of that gray hair in their beards and their hair uh, move along as we move along. Those ladies and gentlemen are coming up and they're professionally trained and they're certified. At IAE alone, we have a certified and exhibition management program. We have CEUs, about 2,500 of them. Uh, in, in over 15 countries just two weeks ago. We graduated at first class in India. They got through nine modules in six months. That's dedication. As in India, they continue to grow the great infrastructure needs that they have to compete in the global exhibitions and mice industry. Uh, we have over 10,000 Karen CMPs around the world, a program supported by the Convention Industry Council and the great work that they do. And that program is, is growing. SITE just had uh, their certification program class over the last two days. So professional development is critically important to making sure that we layer the talent pool of the ladies and gentlemen coming up behind us. And they don't all want to just stay in front of their computers. They want to interface in a face-to-face -face environment. And most of them do not have that skill set of interaction that all of us uh, in this room grew up uh, being able to shake hands with people right in the eyes and do business in the face-to-face -face world. 
So it is our obligation, it is our privilege to make sure that we continue to work with colleges and universities. So think about where you live and where you work. Do you have a mice industry program? Are you dealing with your academia to make sure that those ladies and gentlemen have programs that help us train the future uh, of our industry and the ladies and gentlemen are going to take our jobs going forward? I put that out as a challenge and I hope you think about it and, and I know we're making great success. Last year, speaking of uh, creation of job standards and metrics, last year many organizations uh, involved in the CIC led by uh, uh, several organizations, including IAE, worked with the U.S. Department of Labor in establishing competency models for the U.S. meetings and exhibitions industry. Because we are many, many times, and I know we heard, uh, was it two years ago, Ray, from the gentleman from UNWTO, two years ago, that uh, obviously, uh, Tourism is critically important and sometimes we're looked at as a sister child, a stepchild, so to speak, to the tourism industry and we're not we're right there with it. We're a major part of driving tourism in all of our regions, all of our economies. And tourism also drives meetings, conventions, and trade shows. But I'm telling you that uh, one of the things that we're so proud of is, and it started several years ago, I don't know if anybody's here from Canada. It started really in Canada, once again, like the North American Meetings Industry Day did uh, through the MPI chapters about 15, 20 years ago. It started in Canada where competency models were put together with the Canadian government. And last year we were able to get approved competency models for the, as I mentioned, the meetings and exhibitions industry by establishing these competency models. They had segregated the mice industry, ex exhibitions and events, from underneath the hospitality and tourism um, umbrella, as it were, so now we can uh, be allowed to track labor statistics, statistics, how many ladies and gentlemen work in the mice industry in the United States. It's already being done in Canada, as I mentioned, for several years. And it helps to validate to our government, uh, government officials how important our industry is in local communities. So if you haven't worked on a competency model, please come see me or anyone uh, from, I know Paul's here from MPI, if you can, if you can tap us on the shoulder, if you want to be connected to how it was done in Canada and the United States, and I believe there's competency models of some level in Europe. I'm not as uh, knowledgeable about that, but I challenge you to go back to your communities and help us through your labor departments, whatever they may be called, uh, identify and baseline where we are with employment in the mice industry in your communities. So Ray and Hamrick's team has put a great, robust program together today for Politicians Day, and I look forward to participating in it. I want to use this opportunity to thank you, Ray, and your team for your constant leadership and development of professional um, exhibition, which we like, obviously, in my world, but more importantly, professional development, great education sessions, and we hope that you take advantage of all those over the next three days. I'm humbled. It was my pleasure to share some thoughts with you and have a great week here in Frankfurt. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Well, all that remains for you to be finished now with the opening session is to wish you all a very successful week here in Frankfurt. Lots of fun and lots of good connections. Thank you all very much.